In this video, we will discuss about development of archegonium in ephedra. In the previous video, we discussed about structure of ovule of ephedra. Like we discussed that this part is nucellus. It is covered by inner integument and outer integument. So this is by tecmic in nature. And this part, which is cellular, this is called as nucellus. And inside nucellus develops the endosperm or the female gametophyte. So we discussed in detail how this female gametophyte develop inside the new cells. Now here in the female gametophytic part endosperm at this this is cellular in nature. One of the cell will act as archegonial initial. We can see here this cell is archegonial initial. Now this archegonial initial is the cell which is going to form the archegonium. If we talk about archegonial initial, this will divide by transverse division into two cells. So these are two cells. This outer cell will form next cell and this will form central cell. Now this next cell will remain asset and central cell will enlarge like this. Now this next cell further, this divides into two cells by vertical division like this. When this cell is dividing like this, this is also called as periclinal division. And then cell is dividing like this, this is called as anticlinal division. So this will divide into two neck cells here like this. Further, these two neck cells will divide into four cells. Now they can further divide into eight cells. So in this way, we can see here, this is the neck of archegonium, which is being produced like this. So there is no neck canal cell. 2 cells, 4 cells, 6 cells, 8 cells, 10 cells, 12 cells. So ultimately long neck of archegonium is produced. Here long neck will be produced which is made up of 30 to 40 cells. And these cells will merge with the cells of the female gametophyte. No neck canal cell is there. They do not have any neck canal cell. And this neck is also longest in the gymnospermic plants. This is a unique feature of ephedra. And this lower cell which is called a central cell this will further enlarge and nucleus will divide by mitotic cell division into two nuclei. One will form ventricanal nucleus and this will form egg nucleus or female gametophytic cell. Now this cell is present at the lower part, this cell is present toward the upper side. So we can say mature archegonium has a long neck made up of 30 to 40 cells. It does not enclose any neck canal cell, this is longest in gymnosperm. And this central cell will have ventricanal nucleus and this is the egg nucleus which later on after fertilization can form zygote. So here we can see this is the endospermic part where this these archegonial initial develops into the mature archegonium. This is the mature archegonium. This is another archegonium. So more than one archegonium may develop here at this point. More than one archegonium will develop. So this is the mature archegonium uh, which later on uh, will develop into zygote this uh, this lower part which is called as egg nucleus. Now this egg nucleus will get fused with male gamete and after fertilization this will form zygote which is diploid in nature which may develop into embryo uh, that we will discuss in the next videos. And if you have any doubts or question, you can ask me in the comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.